Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snackbar here with Tank Busting Tuesday, playing some more war game, European Escalation. I love this game. Like, if there is one computer game or one real-time strategy game that I could recommend to you guys, it is this one. Crap! We are being attacked by helicopters. Luckily, in this convoy, I've got some anti-aircraft artillery batteries. They're just shooting them down. So, those Russian helicopters, or I guess I should say, East German helicopters, they're not going to be around for too much longer. Alright, so for this mission, what I have to do is meet up with some British uh, units here, and we got to hold a position here. So, already, I see that just from the outset, I'm going to be attacked, and attacked quite a bit. we got some tanks coming on our left flank. I'm going to send my tanks to kind of go after them here, which is why they're starting to open fire. Now you see there's an FOB, stands for Forward Operating Base up here. This is helpful because having this means that I can resupply my guys because things like ammunition is a big part of this game, which is something I like. I mean, it's realistic. You know, supplies matter. Um, and if my guys are in that little radius, that circle, then they also get repair. So I've got four tanks just right there on the fringe. They're shooting at these East German tanks who are not blowing up. And they're getting repaired every time they get hit, so this is helpful. It's a good position to hold, hard to take on the flip side. There we go, finally got him. All right, so it looks like there was four tanks over there. Wow, so I kind of lucked out with this. Now, to the north of us, we're getting attacked. So the green units are the British. So I'm going to move my units up here into the wooded area, just for additional defensive purposes. That helps out quite a bit, actually. Uh, make sure that your guys are hidden. It gives you a little defensive bonus, too. So I'm going to send my tanks up there. The Leopards, which are German, and the Chieftains are British. All right, so I'm able to meet up with them. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Tell me about infantry, how it's helpful in a situation like this. I do have a few infantry units that I can utilize. Kind of help out, but... I'm kind of more important about stopping this artillery attack right now, which is why I'm sending my tanks in. But I do know infantry is helpful, so I'll get my infantry units up into the wooded area as well in case they decide to push through. Man, we're getting attacked everywhere. Luckily, they're getting closer. That means it's a lot easier for me to be able to hit them. Accuracy increases, of course, the closer you are. Makes sense, right? Oh, man, I lost the tank right there. In the bottom left, you can see when something interesting happens. So I lost the tank right there. But when you take a look at how much damage I've caused and how many units the East Germans have lost, that's uh, not too bad for one tank. So, all right, come on. Either come at me or let me destroy you. Keeping their distance, which is probably a smart call, but four tanks on five, I think. I think I've got five right now. No, nope. yep, four on five. So we outnumber them, but they might outgun me. So what I'm gonna do here? Uh, somebody got hit. If you hear that alarm goes off, oh man, now I lost a tank. Another one. So, they're not doing too hot. Ooh, there's a forward operating base up there. It's an enemy one. Now, you can capture forward operating bases. Sometimes it's a smart thing to do. In this situation, I'm not taking any risks. I got one right behind me, so in a dull moment, or when everything is calmed down, and there's a lull in the fighting, I briefly send out my tanks to take out this forward operating base. Because I'm not going to be able to use it when it's that far out, but it will allow the enemy to get resupplied, so we get that out, and as soon as I take it out, I'm going to send my guys right on back. All right, so what I have to do is you see that little uh, moving vehicle right there. That's a command vehicle. If I get that in certain areas, then I get command points, and that's what shows on the top left that number. Um, I can spend that to get new units. So the fact that I'm moving him into position over here. It's part of what I have to do to secure it. I have to get this guy into this area. 
But at the same time, this is also going to allow me to get some more points to be able to get additional units. And that's helpful because obviously the more units that I have, the likelihood of me winning this one increases dramatically. So I'm going to put him in the wooded area so nobody sees where I am. And you can already see that in the top left, as soon as he stops, there we go, that the number up there increases. All right, so the more positions you have, the quicker it's going to increase. Like you can see Lima down there is one. That means I get one every, I believe it's every second. And then anytime you see a number on there, it lets you know how many you get. All right, so I've started getting some reinforcements here. I'm replacing the tanks that I have in that wooded area here with some additional ones. Now what I'm also doing is I'm also preparing a little flank attack. Now, now that I have this place secured, they're still throwing stuff at me. That's not a surprise. I was kind of figuring that. But there are some secondary objectives that I have to accomplish. See, it didn't take too long. I'm surprised though I was able to take out that forward operating base before they came back. But these are reconnaissance units, so I'm not too worried about them. Yes, they can shoot at me, but... Oh, there's the tanks. Alright, so... I'm kind of deciding what I want to do. Because I'm building up the forces here in the back to start a flank attack on the left and just circle around to my main objective. Just taking positions along the way. What is that sound? Those are my anti-aircraft batteries, but they're not up here. That really worries me, but at the same time... I'm also worried about this assault from enemy armor. So you can see I'm moving the chieftain into position. Kind of hit on that flank. Come on. Destroy him. Alright, so we finally took him out. So I don't have to worry about that flank right now. Let's just worry about the armor, which, trust me, I am. I've got three tanks focusing on the three tanks coming in now because I'm in a defensive position I have the advantage now it's a general rule of thumb that if you're defending a position you have a force ratio of three to one which means it would take about three guys to stop one person defending if it's a well entrenched position well entrenched position it's five to one alright so where I'm at here it's kinda like the three to one type of scenario but of course I guess that doesn't hold true so much with armor. Now, apparently there's two tanks just come out of nowhere. The enemy's doing a great job of being able to flank me and just put me in positions here where I'm just absolutely surprised that they're appearing. So my anti-aircraft batteries are shooting at the tanks. And they're doing a pretty good job too because they're smoking right now. So I've got three more over here because I figured those... Helicopters are going to be coming back. I'm sending in tanks. Try and reinforce here. I'm going to purchase some more right now. So this kind of helps you out. See what it's like. So I'm just going to buy one. This is insane. That surprises me that my anti-aircraft can take him down. But then again, in World War II, German 88s. Those were originally set as flak guns. But you can turn them into anti-armor. Surprised that those took out T-62s. Anyway, so there's a lull once again, so I'm able to take my guys. We're going to be sneaking through this heavy wooded area. I don't want to necessarily be caught in the open. This benefits me, one, because I've got my armor out in front. So if I come across somebody here hanging out in this wooded area, I'll be able to take them down pretty quick. So it's a little bit past that city up there. You can see where it says secondary. That's where I'm supposed to go. So I don't think there's anybody in the India section, but at the same time, can't be too careful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak my way through it here. So like I said, I use protection anytime that I can. I use cover. So that's kind of why I'm going through this area. It's a little bit slower. I run through gas a little bit faster, but uh, if there's somebody like in the along the roads hitting in the trees be tough for me to find all right so these are my APCs I got some infantry in there uh, this is probably bad but I use infantry in this mission a lot for screening what's ahead 
So just a little bit ago I was using tanks, but I kind of thought about it. Infantry is a lot more expendable, and it doesn't cost nearly as much, and I do have a lot more of it. So I'm setting in position here, and then I release, or I let my infantry units out from the APCs, and we're just frolicking. Yes, I said frolicking through that wooded area. So we found somebody here, my recon unit, found their armored vehicle, and he gets the kill. Alright, so I gotta see if anybody else is over here. Now if they have a command vehicle, that means they get points off of it and they can bring guys into that area. Alright, so infantry actually does take him out. Not bad. See, it worked. Infantry all the way. So I can take this place over and I can get some command points off of it. Plus, you see those stars up there? The stars are actually very useful in this game. Here's my infantry. We're just going around the town. This time we're going through the field. But see, you can zoom in pretty close on these guys. Not too bad. Anyway, uh, the command stars. Those are important because at the end of each mission you get command stars for accomplishing certain things. And you have what's called a deck. Now the deck in this game is what units you can use in a mission, whether it be multiplayer, skirmish mode, campaign like you're seeing right here. And so the more that you get, the better units that you have. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit later simply because I really haven't been able to spend anything quite yet because I was really dumb and all the command mo and, wow, all the command points that I spent earlier, I spent on multiplayer. But my deck is not nearly completed enough to play multiplayer. So Plus, I don't have anybody to play with. So, I'm making sure I get all the command points possible. Alright, so we advance out of there after we secure it. And there's one more place that we can go. Now, just right from the outset, we see that the enemy's command vehicle is just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. So, I'm going to be taking my tanks. We're going to get that in range. We're going to start shooting at it here. So, this is pretty important. I'm not going to be in the cover of the trees, but that's all right. One shot, one kill. Now, that means that, like I said, the enemy can't reinforce out of alpha anymore. So I basically have the whole left part of the map, or the western part, locked down in my possession. Now, I'm going to keep advancing here because my ultimate goal is to clear out what's called Charlie Sector, which is in the northern part of the map. But I want to make sure I don't get flanked. So I'm going to keep advancing here. Tanks out front. I've got my recon unit there in the trees. And there are some anti-tank vehicles up here. So it's probably not smart. Wow, there is a lot. Luckily, there's missiles. They're just absolutely terrible. So I'm kind of torn how I'm going to do this right now. Because I got... Well, I take one out here. But you can see anywhere there's a red unit is where there's an enemy. If there is lines or dashes in the section, it means I don't know what it is, but they're shooting at me. So I've got these guys split up now. I'm going to try and take this recon unit down. It's one of those instances I don't know how much the computer really does benefit off of recon, but if I could take the recon unit down, they may have a harder time seeing me. All right, so I took those guys out. Now there's two groups left. So I'm going to split my guys up. Group on the left is going to take the unit to the north. And the two units on the right are going to take the ones kind of closer to the east. So there's a couple units up there in each direction. Now you can see in the bottom, my APCs are coming out of the woods here. What I've noticed is while the group on the right, the T-55s, those are tanks. Probably don't want to mess with them, but the group to the north... Those are some armored personnel vehicles, uh, or arm infantry fighting vehicles, I'm sorry. Totally different. So I'm going to send my guys over there. I'm going to see if I can engage them a little bit, at least distract them. APCs against infantry fighting vehicles is not necessarily the best matchup. But, like I said, if we can distract them just a little bit, may get my tanks enough. Now there's one guy left up in the north. We still got the two on the east. All of the shooting back and forth. We still haven't been able to get a hit. We've got one tank that needs repaired. Alright, so moving into the trees helped us considerably. The group to the north completely eliminated. So we only have the group here on the east. So I'm letting my infantry go. They're going to go into that clump of trees right in front of us here. 
in hopes of, again, making the computer shoot at them. Man. Still more units to the north, but they're just infantry. So if I play this smart, I can take him out no problem at all. Computer's completely ignoring my infantry. Not what I was expecting, but in case they decide to attack, there's a good defensive screen in front of me. All right, so I got them elim eliminated. Strellas. Now, if you played Black Ops, you guys know. Oh, got rid of them. You guys know that that's anti-aircraft. I don't have any anti, or I don't have any aircraft for this one. All right. So after we get that taken care of, there is a large pause in everything. So what I do is I take some time and I bring in every single unit that I possibly can. So I'm maxed out with units right now, going for the final objective, which is to clear that Charlie sector. Now we're going to be coming in from the west, headed east. Like I said, every single unit that I can muster. Uh, this will be nice because my whole strategy on this one isn't necessarily to use cover. Of course, I'll try and be smart about it. But I can overwhelm the enemy. There's not... I don't think there's any instance in this map here where they're going to be able to put up a good, sizable defense against this huge force. So the Jupiter units, by the way, are supply trucks. Kind of help out with repairs and then also ammunition and fuel. Always nice to have some of those with you. You can see I have a lot of infantry as well. So tanks going first. We're just going up this hill. We're going to go through the wooded area one more time. Because if I can get a good firing position, we can get this done a lot quicker. So nothing yet. Tanks out in front again. Infantry is just right behind. Now, another reason for that, too, obviously tanks are a lot more mobile than infantry when they are unloaded, of course, for their, from their uh, armored personnel carriers. So if I do get into a jam, there's a recon unit right there. This is, I guess, a test of what my units are going to be like. Oh, it's a chopper. Did I bring anti-aircraft with me? I think I did. I wonder if these are the same people that I came across earlier. Yep, I've got anti-aircraft artillery here. So they'll annihilate them once they get pretty close to the edge of the wooded area. Man, my anti-aircraft artillery, that's something that's just been awesome. So many uses for it, too. I mean, we stopped a tank, a couple of them. They're good against infantry. Obviously, they're good against aircraft. So, taking Delta up here. This is another one of those instances where I'm doing it just to stop reinforcements from coming in. Plus, if I can get Delta taken care of, this whole clump of trees, I can set up there. Maybe draw them to me. So... Yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to plow right through all of these guys. That took a while. There's their command unit. Now, infantry's out in front. I'm kind of at the point right now where I don't care. I mean, we're just such a huge, massive force right now. I'm not concerned. All right, so I'm going to take out their forward operating base because I've got the supply units with me, so if I absolutely need something, I'm all right. Plus, when you take a look, their command unit for Charlie Sector is right next to the forward operating base. Probably a smart call, but there's so many units coming at it, it's not going to be able to repair in time. So going through these trees, not really for any other reason than just direct line over there. This is going to be crazy. All these guys opening up at once. Wow. Can you imagine what that would be like? Just seeing all of the, all those, uh, all those bullets, all those shells just coming right at you. It's insane. All right, so we found another anti-tank unit. Dang it. 
they got one of my flak panzers, which is my anti-aircraft. So when those missiles do hit, they hit hard. They take you down. All right, where'd he go? Now this is the one downside. They can really, really make you mad. So I'm gonna split these guys up. You go for them. You try and find the tanks. There they are. Push them out of the trees. They're out in the open. So I will take their position and have at it. I lost another tank. Or another flak panzer, I guess I should say. I don't know why they're out front. I don't like it, but they're stunning the enemy. And it's blowing them up, too. So not bad. Sweet! So we swept it. So that means this mission's over. There's actually some more exciting ones to come later on. So, kind of get the win with this one. Like I said, get this game. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. More to come for Tank Busting Tuesday. I'll try and get, uh, or I will for sure do Military Game Monday next week. I'm sorry I didn't do it this week. But you guys are awesome. You really are. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one. NATO victory!